I'm Caitlin Heisch, and I'm here today to talk to you about beauty pageants. Audrey Hepburn once said, The beauty of a woman is not in a facial mode, but the true beauty of a woman is reflected in her soul. Beauty pageants have been going since the 1960s, and as the years move forward, they are continuing to get worse. They are no longer about inner beauty, but only how well you look good on a stage. Beauty pageants have many negative effects, and today I've come up with three main points to prove it. First, pageants cause eating and mental disorders. Second, pageants lead to an expensive spending lifestyle. And third, pageants turn kids against their parents. Beauty pageants should be discouraged. Beauty pageants come with many negative effects. So first, I'll start off with the worst possible effect. First, pageants cause eating and mental disorders. According to private practice workers, Wonderlynch, Ackert, and Henderson, in an article published in 2005 by the journal Eating Disorders, Women who competed in beauty pageants tested high for bulimia. For those of you who don't know what bulimia is, bulimia is when you consume a large amount of food and throw up afterwards. Also, another disorder that was scored high for was anorexia. Anorexia is the belief that if they eat, they will become fat, so they starve themselves. Again, thanks to Wonderlich, Ackert, and Henderson in their article, Eating Disorders, we also learned that beauty pageants cause depression and it and it means that the contestants have low self-esteem. Low self-esteem is an emotional evaluation basically of their own self-worth. These disorders are very serious and should be taken care of immediately. If not taken care of in a timely manner, death could occur, either because their body shuts down or because they commit suicide. So my first main point, I argue that Beauty pageants cause eating and mental disorders, disorders that if not taken care of in a timely manner could eventually lead to death. We all buy expensive things once in a while, right? Well, when you're a pageant kid, expensive is the only form of buying things. Second, pageants lead to an expensive spending lifestyle. According to Triggs Western Adderlist, in an article published in 2011 by People Magazine, girls who compete in beauty pageants learn that it's all right to buy expensive clothing they learn that if they purchase expensive clothing, they'll be very popular and liked by everyone. Also, with this mindset in their head their whole life, they'll be demanding the best of the best. They won't settle for a $20 shirt at Old Navy. They'll be demanding a $70 shirt at the American Eagle. Again, Triggs Western Adelis in their People magazine article also shared that it's no wonder why these girls are brought up like this because pageants are very expensive. Here are some prices that may startle you. To register for a beauty pageant is about $1,000. Also, these girls wear dresses. Dresses are about $1,800. Also, we notice that these girls are very tan and have very um, important makeup. Their makeup is $250 and their spray tan is $25. Also, they wear fake wigs. Each wig is about $100, and also these girls are required to wear or have pictures taken, which are $350, and coaches are sometimes purchased by the parents too, and each coach is $130 per session. In the end, beauty pageants are roughly about $4,000 for each one. So as I proved to you in my second main point, beauty pageants are very expensive, and they teach these kids that it's alright to buy expensive clothing. Sometimes beauty pageants are always about kids. Sometimes it's simply about the parents and then in the end it causes children to rebel. Third, pageants turn kids against their parents. A 2012 news release written by Alexis Blue from the University of Arizona summarizes research conducted by a professor at the University of Arizona in the Department of Nutritional Sciences. These two professors share that Sometimes beauty pageants aren't always about the kids. Sometimes it's simply the parents forcing their children to compete in these. Basically, they force them into it because it never happened in their life. Let's say it was always the mother's dream to be in a beauty pageant, but it never happened. So now that she has her own kid, she is forcing them into it. And in the end, this is going to cause the children to rebel. Also, the two University of Arizona professors share with us that this is very bad for the child's health. It will 
have them lose self-esteem. And again, self-esteem is an emotional evaluation of someone's own worth. Also, this will cause the kids to no longer listen to their student or to their parents and rebel. They will misbehave and no longer trust in their parents because they will start to believe that their parents aren't looking out for them, but that they're only there for to serve a purpose for them. So as I argued in my third main point, beauty pageants aren't always about the kids. Sometimes it's simply the parents forcing them into it, and you should never force a child into anything. Zoe Deschanel once said, I entered a youth pageant when I was 14. That was like a beauty pageant, but without the beauty. It was horrible. Again, beauty pageants today are no longer about inner beauty, but they are only about how well you look good on a stage. And today I proved to you that beauty pageants are bad for three main points. First, beauty pageants cause eating and mental disorders. Second, pageants lead to an expensive spending lifestyle. And third, pageants turn kids against their parents. Now, no matter where you live, I want you to gather supporters and join the fight to end beauty pageants. Thank you for listening.